toys to limbs, even guns, the state-of-the-art printers are bringing out big changes. Well, now just about everybody will have access to a 3D printer. They're showing up at local libraries, and that has Whitney's asking, are there limits to what you can print, and how much will it cost you? New on Whitney's at 6, Whitney's reporter Nicole Papageorge investigates. Anything that you think of, possibly think of, the printer bring it to life. <laughs> Jeffrey St. Furman, a recent FGCU grad, works at the Southwest Florida Library Network. The cooperative just got this 3D printer to loan to libraries across the area. It's been here for two weeks, and there's already a waiting list. When news found out, Collier County might be getting four of the machines to put in its local libraries, too. Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> Instead of ink, the printer uses plastic or metal then prints or really builds anything you design. It's the difference between printing a red chain on a piece of paper or printing the chain itself. This one took us just 20 minutes. Right now, there's a lot of interest. Yeah. Right now, there's a lot of curiosity. That curiosity is prompting some people across the country to make weapons with the printers, even guns. Some Collier County residents tell Wink News they're concerned about what would happen if they're accessible in a public library. If people are printing out guns that are 3D and it looks like a real gun, you're carrying it around, then it's just it's a safety hazard. Lily Castro is the library network's executive director. She tells Wink News someone is always supervising the printer, and in the future, she expects local lawmakers to make some guidelines. Policies are going to have to be developed for responsible use. I don't think anybody's actually going to come in and say, I want to build a gun, help me. <laughs> in Collier County, Nicole Papageorge, Wink News. The 3D printer costs about $3,000. It was paid for through a grant. Collier County commissioners will discuss putting the 3D printers in local libraries next Tuesday.